All right, we're here in Phoenix, Arizona, the House of Comedy, six sold out shows. Thank you so much, Phoenix. Love you so much. I love this state, Arizona. You're about freedom. These things, you don't need them here, baby. That's what I'm doing. Oh, got stuck on my tape. Get out of here. I love you, Chrissy Chaos. Es lo que es. Phoenix, Arizona, what a city, what a state. I mean, I'm happy to be out of New York. People are living freedom in here, baby. Absolutely. I love it. Got everything. Phoenix, iced tea, Navajos, everything's out here. Ice. Yeah, I'm out here. I was great. Seeing the town, I went to uh, Goldfield Ghost Town. Goldstein, yes. Goldfield Ghost Town, good, fucking great, dude. I had an awesome time there, and it was not a ghost town anymore. There's a lot of people. It will be a ghost town in two to three weeks because nobody was wearing masks, but what can you do? <laughs> this is great. Make America great again. Yeah. Love it. In the front row. I love it. I love it. You are Asian with the Trump hat. You are Corona. I love it. You are, you are China. The China virus. I love it. I love it. I love you. Love you. We come together. This lady, unbelievable. Good for you. You have a mask on and the Trump hat. You're just full of surprises. I don't know what to think with you. But I'm happy you're here in the front row. There's no rules. Beautiful people. I mean, the, the men in this town. Woo. Um, yeah, you know what I'm talking about, dude. This fucking guy. When did you get out of prison? Chrissy, thanks for coming out, man. I'm glad I got out of prison in time to see you tonight, man. Great show. Well, here you go. Welcome to the green room. It's a closet. I'm literally Chrissy in the closet. <laughs> and I'm Sergio outside the closet. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was doing it. <laughs> hey, that's on you, buddy. Hey, I support you and I support what you stand for. Well, I came to Arizona and I just feel so free. You do? Are you going to run for mayor of New York? I most certainly am because in New York, they accept you for who you are. And you're going to get my vote because you're gay. Thank you for loving Boricuas the way you do. We come with attitude, but thank you for an amazing show. My mouth hurts. I don't know if I can talk. <laughs> laughing too much. You rock, man. We love you. <laughs> Chris, if I can get this mask off, oh my god. <laughs> Look, this is this is always a good sign in the green room. When I just fucking open up. I have to move my head out of the way to open up cabinets. I mean, what do we do? I feel like they built this comedy club and then we're like, oh shit, we forgot the green room. Even like today, I'm, you know, we're on the flight over here and it's like. The big news, like front page news, is now no more Mr. Potato Head. I'm like, why is that even a news article? You want it now Mr. Potato Head's fucking genderless, you have to call it Potato Head now. I'm like, first of all, if you have Mr. Potato Head and, and Mrs. Potato Head, then you can make your Potato Head whatever you want. I've had, my Potato Head's been transgender since 1991. I would take Mrs. Potato, you know? I'd put fucking one of Mr. Potato Head's arms right in Mrs. Potato Head's pussy. I'd put the lips on Mr. Potato Head, I'd switch him up all day. So I'll do whatever I want to do with my potato head. My potato head, my choice. So, <laughs> does this look like me? I mean, who's sending this shit? I mean, who sent, I just pale, I look dead. That's why I fired my manager. <laughs> Rick's got another business because he's, he's a shifty Jew. And so he's got another business that's a speakeasy that we're about to go into right, right now. And he thinks I care about that, but I really want to get a croissant. Was that wiped out for COVID? Sorry. It's good now. It's good. Wow. Look at that. Wow. It's a 1920s speakeasy, which has been operating illegally in Phoenix since this COVID shutdown. So send this footage to the news. We've been looking for Sergio. I, we were just in that place. I had no idea where Sergio is. We thought he went home. Look at it. Look at it. He's in a conversation with Karen. It's my, it's my Arizona shirt. That's your Arizona shirt? It's my Arizona shirt. Dude, you look like drunk Jesus. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm fucking ripped! We got a 945 show. Woo woo! Got a 945 show. Rip pop! Yo! <laughs> Yo, you fucking. Yo, your vest is too small. You look like a woman's golf coach. <laughs> Yo, I'm fucking hammered right now. Yo. What did they put in that? That was super Have a good night, ladies. 2024, hold on. What are you guys filming? Huh? I'm coming out to my parents. Oh no! Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Can I get the key and fucking pee shit green? What, whose car is that? We gotta get a water, dude. 
<laughs> now nah, I'm gonna just get a fucking double vod soda. I mean, dude, here's the thing. I never really get drunk anymore, and I'm already drunk right now, so it's like, what am I gonna fucking not get more drunk? I'll do the 945 show, throw up on the front row, well, whatever, I'll give half my paycheck back. Yo, I needed to get out there, man, because I, it was, uh, it, that shit looked illegal. Was it triggering to you, honestly? No. Why did you leave? Why did you walk out? Because I, I, I just felt like, you know, it was, it was, too, it was too tight. Like I put Chris in his sleeve. <laughs> Being a victim is like the only way. It's like, is it like something to be cool now? Like, how old are you? 24. Oh, 24. So you're young enough. Do you like, were you victimized today by something? But <laughs> did Mr. Potato Head victimize you? What did you do with Mr. Potato Head? Show me a Mr. Potato Head where you touched it. <laughs> yeah, so it's like young kids like you. It's like, you know, everybody is like, you grew up, maybe not you, but because, you know, you look, actually look like, you know, you probably weren't, you had a pretty decent life. You look like your name's like, what's your name? Trevor or Trent or some shit? What is it? It's Connor? Get the fuck out. <laughs> Connor? I said Trent. Trent plus Trevor equals Connor. That's, so I knew that it, you were the sum of those parts. Connor? No, nah, dude, I don't feel bad for anything. You could have been victimized. You could have been burglarized today. I don't care. You deserved it, Connor. Being a parent is one of those things. It's like, you know, who has kids? You guys have kids? You don't have kids, right? God forbid, Connor. No way. No way. No way. You're like, I don't have kids. I have Bitcoin. <laughs> My kids are crypto. Are you investing in the future? I feel like you're that guy. Does he have Bitcoin? He fucking does. Shut up, I know you do. You're like, it's time to sell. Are you watching crypto? I got a new tip on. You're gonna fucking DM me about crypto tips, you piece of shit. Crypt if you don't change your name to Crypto Connor, I won't follow you back. If you change it to Crypto Connor, I'll respond. Look at this, Bobby Lee. That's why you gotta bag a shit to your studio, because you wanna do stuff like this. Do you, let me ask you a question. Do you think that at some point in your life, like when you're, you know, your child is old and grown, you may ex experiment with cocaine again? No, but I'll tell you this. All the, all the times you talk about me doing cocaine, I'm sure she'll know about it because you have so much content about my private life. YouTube.com slash Christy Comedy. <laughs> Check out that content. Chrissy, we freaking love you. Chrissy fucking chaos. You really brought the fucking heat tonight. My brother showed me this guy is freaking hilarious. Buy a ticket. The show is amazing. You're super fucking funny. You were hilarious. We loved everything, especially being from great near New York. I just want this just got stuck on my taint. Thanks, buddy. You have an extra mask?